Welcome! This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 13th of May, 2011. 150 years ago this date, the Great Comet of 1861 was first sighted. In the last 24 hours we've had some very interesting activity, however this is not reflected in the sunspot regions. Regions 1211 and 1212 have decayed to a small group of pores. Region 1210 has decayed to a single spot. The leading and trailing spots of region 1208 have spread wider apart and new spots have appeared in between them. There is a small spot that's appeared at high latitude just above the trailing spot of 1208. But the most interesting thing again is the spotless plage in the northeast. It's produced yet another sea flare. We can see from the GOES X-ray plot that the background has fallen even yet further. And at about 1200 UT yesterday uh, we got this C2 flare. Now it was a long duration event so that would imply that it's an eruptive flare. In the Sunspot movie you can clearly see the regions decaying and disappearing. In the Magnetic movie the regions are getting more and more diffuse with very little growth anywhere. In the Coronal movie you can clearly see that the event comes from the spotless plage region in the northeast. There, did you see it? Here is a magnified movie of the same area so you can see it more clearly. There she blows. Now the same sequence of events as seen in the Helium 304 which is characteristic of about 50,000 degrees Kelvin. So that would be in the transition region and you can see the dark material from the filament erupting just after the flare occurs. All this eruptive activity should be associated with a coronal mass ejection. Let's take a look at the Soho chronographs and see what's been going on. We can see a faint coronal mass ejection in the northeast, but however there are at least two in the southeast. Where do they come from? For our clue to that we must turn to the stereo data. And we can see from the stereo A data that the two coronal mass ejections in the southeast came from the back side of the sun. However at the moment none of this activity seems to have had very much effect on geospace, the space immediately around the earth. We are still in a slow speed coronal wind stream with relatively low density and relatively low temperature. Consequently the rural zone is relatively quiet and the KP index has been varying between only 0 and 2. So in summary then, the sunspot number, as I predicted, has dropped considerably to 29. The X-ray background has remained at B1. The radio sun intensity is at 94 solar flux units. The solar wind speed is still at a fairly modest 350 kilometers per second. And the KP index is rated as quiet. My forecast for the next 24 hours is fairly similar to yesterday, with intermittent C flares possible, but a very low chance of getting M or X flares. We should continue to get coronal mass ejections and the chance of a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is fairly low. The longer term looks a little more promising. When you look at the composite coronal image, you can see that two or three days behind the limb there are some fairly good regions coming up. If you take another look at the coronal movie, you'll see some evidence for activity from behind the limb there. If you'd like to find out more about what's going on, follow some of the links in the description box below. Uh, there are also some links there to the earlier editions of The Sun Today, which may be of interest to you. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.